So, this is the Behringer Meteor Crater. According to this little thing that they give you when you pay your $15 to get in the door, uh, let's see, 50,000 years ago, an unbroken plain stretched in front of where you are now. Suddenly, out of the northeastern sky, a pinpoint of light grew rapidly into a brilliant meteor. This body was probably broken from the core of an asteroid during an ancient collision in the main asteroid belt some half billion years ago. Hurtling at about 26,000 miles per hour, it was on an intercept course with Earth. In seconds, it passed through our atmosphere with almost no loss of velocity or mass. In a blinding flash, a huge iron-nickel meteorite or dense cluster of meteorites, estimated to have been about 150 feet across and weighing several thousand tons, struck the rocky plain with an explosive force greater than 20 million tons of TNT. Now, <clears throat> considering that we've, uh, on the same trip we've been to Trinity, uh, now the, the Trinity blast, as I recall, was somewhere in the 20 kiloton neighborhood. Uh, what do they say here? 20 million tons of TNT. Well, that's 20 megatons. So, <clears throat> really, a hole in the ground of this sort could conceivably be made uh, with an off-the-shelf nuclear weapon. But, I digress. Moving at hypervelocity speed. Hypervelocity speed. Moving at hypervelocity speed, this impact generated immensely powerful shockwaves in the meteorite, the rock, and the surrounding atmosphere. In the air, shockwaves swept across the level plain, devastating all in their path for a radius of several miles. Sounds like a nuclear blast. In the ground, as the meteorite penetrated the rocky plain, pressures rose over 20 million pounds per square inch, and both iron and rock experienced limited vaporization and extensive melting. Ooh. And a blah, 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 blah. It goes on and on. You can read it later. I'm bringing it home. <clears throat> Bottom line, though, is one big hole in the ground. And uh, uh, you don't want to fall down into it because there is really no quick, easy way to get you out. So if you don't have a sleeping bag and a couple of cliff bars, you're sunk. <laughs>